Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another five first impressions from the drugstore. So everything that I'm going to be trying today is a drugstore brand and affordable. So if you guys are curious to see what I'm trying and how they work out, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we have is this Pat Away Concealing Base. It says Correction Fluid from Pixie by Petra. Never tried their concealers. I've tried their lip products, their eye glitters. I have tried maybe a mascara from them. I have, I've tried like limited things from their brand. So I'm excited to try this. It says pat onto dark circles, redness, or uneven skin tone and blend mix into a moisturizer for a sheer finish or pat for a full coverage. That's what I want, full coverage. So I already have a little bit of Essence Fresh and Fit foundation on. And that is it, so let's give this a try. I have the shade Nude. Okay, it looks like a very yellowy color. We'll try to make it work. This might be too dark for the under eyes. I mean, that's looking, that's looking quite yellow. I don't think I have another shade of this, but I do believe it comes in a slightly lighter shade, which I may have to pick up. Okay, that's the side that I patted on with my fingers. I'm gonna try my beauty sponge on the other side. My Maybelline Face Studio. I feel like I'm getting about the same coverage. I did two layers on this side, so let me try one more over here. A little bit on the chin where I have some acne scarring. Okay, because it is so yellow tone, I feel like I really need like a bright white powder under the eyes. So let me hop off, set the under eyes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and set the under eyes with the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Soft Light under the eyes. It did kind of help to brighten a bit. Um, it is a thick concealer. You can kind of see that it's already sticking to like the creases under my eyes because it is so thick. It's not like a very hydrating, smoothing concealer, so just keep that in mind, but this did help to brighten it. Okay, so our next product for the five first impressions is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends Translucent Oil Control Powder. It looks like this. They have another one. They have another one which is pure and it's a highlighting blush. So they have the Healthy Skin Blends Blush and Powder. So we're going to be trying the powder today. I have another cheek product, so we're not going to be trying that. This says it's translucent powder designed to help control oil and shine, enriched with vitamin C and botanical conditioners, multiple shades, multiple shade design for use on many skin tones. So, looks like if you swatch them individually, these are the colors you get. Right here, not sure if you can see them. It's like a warm tone, a yellow tone, and two almost like bone shade colors. And as far as I can tell, they're all matte. So I'm just gonna swirl my It Cosmetics Cheek Powder Brush in and just kind of dust all over the face to set. Yeah, my foundation's still tacky, so it definitely needs to be set. I'm not seeing any uneven color, which is nice because sometimes when you have like a multicolor powder like this, you'll see like bits and pieces of darker colors and lighter colors when you apply it. But it looks like it did swirl together evenly. Didn't leave any uneven color on the skin. So, so far that looks nice. Um, my pores look pretty filled in, so it didn't accentuate anything. It's not making my skin look extra dry. 
At this point, I would probably use a setting spray just to kind of warm everything up. Let's use the CoverGirl Look Lock Up All Day Setting Mist. Okay, so so far we've had the concealer and the powder. Next up is a bronzer from Catrice. This is the Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. Now I'm not sure how it can be glow and matte at the same time. Looks like this. I have 30 medium bronze silky soft matte powder which provides a natural looking tan all year round. Contains vitamin A and E suitable for every skin type dermatologically tested. This is what it looks like inside. It says sun glow on the powder. And I'm going to take my wet and wild, I don't know what this is, wet and wild powder brush and let's see what we can do. Here's the color. Not sure if it's gonna be too orange or not, so we'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna say it's definitely a warm bronzer, not one that you can really use for contouring. So this is the side with the sun glow. This is the side without. It definitely adds that glow to the skin, but I don't think it's too orange. On second thought, maybe it is. All right, well, let me compare it to some of the bronzers that I already love. We have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and we have the Butter Bronzer in Bronzer. And I will compare it to my Butter London Bronzer Palette. So first up is the Catrice one, which is super, super soft. I will give it that. Okay, so here is the Catrice. Here's Physician's Formula, which is significantly cooler. Here's my L'Oreal Lumi, which is even cooler than the Physician's Formula. And then my Butter London. There's actually two in the Butter London one that I like. So all of the ones that I like are quite a bit cooler than this one. So in comparison to the ones that I enjoy, the Catrice is definitely more orange tone. So for that reason, I don't think that I will be using this one again. Looking at my face close up, I definitely feel like I'm having a Cheeto moment here. So for me, this one is a pass unless you like that real orange tone bronze to your skin. For me, I personally don't for my skin tone but that's my thoughts on this one. Next up, we have a lip product from Honest Beauty. You can find this at Target. Um, this is the Truly Kissable Lip Crayon, and we have the shade Sheer Rose Kiss. And the claims on this one are antioxidant rich coconut oil, muru muru butter, and shea butter help moisturize and cushion for a lush natural finish. Lightweight texture glides on for quick, convenient color any way you want it. Looks like this. I have tried their lip crayons before. That looks pretty. Here's the shade. It's like a brownish rose. Mm. Has that like crayon chemically taste that I really can't stand. It looks beautiful on. I really want to like this. You can smell it. You can smell that like chemically waxy. I don't know what it is. And you can taste it on the lips. It's like those, I hate to compare it to a really cheap lipstick because these aren't cheap, but it has that taste of like a dollar store lipstick where you put it on the lips and instantly you're like, mmm. It doesn't taste good. And I know you're not supposed to be eating your lipstick, but like you can taste it while you're talking. So I like the color. I like the way it looks on the lips, but I just can't get past the taste on the lips. So unfortunately, this one for me will be a pass. And finally, we have some blush palettes from Catrice. We have the Blush Artist Shading Palette in 
30 Rock and Roses, and we have the Blush Artist Shading Palette in 10 Bronze Eclat. I think I'll try some rosy pink on the cheeks. I would like to try this one. This is a matte shade. The other two have a bit of shimmer to them. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna try the lightest shade over here because it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it on the cheekbones. Okay, well that one's not really showing up much. But let me swatch these for you. We've got the deep dusty shade, we have the peachy shimmery coral, and then we have the one that I just used as a highlight. This one's very, very, very dry. Not much is actually coming off on my fingers. Here are the shades, the matte, the orange, and the highlighty shade. And then on the pink palette, the Rockin' Roses, we have, looks like a very slight shimmer a matte, and then a very light like bubblegum pink with a hint of shimmer. So you can see these are very pigmented here. So these are the pink tone ones and these are more of like the dusty, warmer tones. So depending on your skin tone, your preference, one over the other, but that's what they look like. Now let's do the rundown of all five products. The Pixie Concealer the Pat Away Concealing Base from Pixi. Um, it worked well, it is starting to, it's making my eyes look dry, so perhaps I'd apply like a beauty oil before putting this on, but it did a good job, it did conceal, it is very yellow tone, and this is number two. So perhaps next time I will pick up the lighter shade, perhaps number one, and see how that works under the eyes, but I'm not complaining, it looks fine. Next up we had the Neutrogena Healthy Blend Powder. It makes my skin look nice and even, healthy, no complaints about this one, I'll continue to use this one. Um, I don't know how it'll be for oil control, but we'll see how my face looks throughout the day. The Catrice Sun Glow Bronzer is a pass for me compared to the other bronzers I have. This one's just a little too orange tone for me and a, too fake looking, so this is not one I will be continuing to use. The lip product from Honest Beauty, while I do like the brand Honest Beauty, I don't care for the taste of this particular lip crayon. I'm just not one for strange fragrances or tastes on the lips. I don't mind like vanilla or mint scented things, but things that taste chemically or waxy, I just, I can't do. So unfortunately this one's a pass for me. And the Blush Artist shape, Shading Palettes from Catrice. Um, I think they're nice. They give you some good color options. Are they the most smooth formula ever? No, but they're so, so stinking cheap that even if two out of the three work, I feel like it's worth the money to give them a try. So these I would say check out if you're in need of a blush palette, otherwise they're not the most amazing thing ever. So use your judgment. So if you guys enjoyed this five first impressions video, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.